1996, DJ Shadow's debut album, Introducing, with five periods for the ellipses. You may know DJ Shadow from Nobody Speak, that Run the Jewels song. Well, it's, it's a DJ Shadow song, but it features Run the Jewels, and it's probably like their most popular song, like collectively, of course, but this is his first album. This isn't like 2015, you know, this is 1996. This is 20 years before Nobody Speak. Ooh, this is, this is a nice ass album. Yo, what's up guys? Before the video fully starts, I just want to say, uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. It'd be great. I'd, I'd love it if you subscribed. And plus, it's like 99% of the viewers who watch this channel aren't subscribed. Um, so, you know, be part of like the 0.1%, right? That'd be great. That'd be very, very great. Thank you. And so here it is. Introducing by DJ Shadow. It's really, really nice. I think this is like a classic album cover. Like, you know, when I was at the record shop today, um, this was uh, in backwards, you know, it was like this, right? And I could just tell, I'm like, you know, like the, the colors are kind of faded, you know, like the, you know, it's kind of old and it's in a record shop. I turned it around and yup, it was, it was introducing. You guys see back there, I've got, I've got like records on my wall. There's, there's two more here, um, Illmatic that you can't see. And then I put, um, Sufjan Stevens, come on, feel the Illinois here. And I might replace that with, with this because all of these, as you can see, are kind of like pictures, you know, but this, this is like, it's like a tunnel. It's like a portal into like a new place, you know, like, fuck. Like when I put this on my wall, it was like, I could walk in here and I could like, I could like see this record store. I might put it on backwards too, you know, just, just cuts every now and then because the back is also really, really nice and easily recognizable. So I'm going to do an unboxing now because this shit, it's so nice. It's so nice. I'm happy. All right. So I've cut open the side and I'm going to slip it out now. We've all seen it. Okay. Ooh. We've all heard it. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. There we go. There it is. There it is right there. There it is. Awesome. All right. Okay. This actually, if you, it's like matte, you know, it's like, um, like it feels like, you know, like cardboard or like, you know, just it's weird. Cause like the other records up there all have like this, like polished finish, you know, all, they all have like this, um, like slippery kind of surface, but, but this, you know, comparatively is like, it's like matte. Um, wow. It's it feels nice actually. And it's like, Oh, it's really, really nice uh it's really nice this is me in the record shop with them bro oh my god holy shit and here's the back it feels so nice and it looks just like a beautiful like like window into the 90s you know like like a, a time capsule into the 90s it's so nice here's the here's the side yeah oh my this is this is great. Let's look at uh, what's inside. Ooh. Okay. All right. Set this down. Now, this is, oh wow, look at that. Look at that. DJ Shadow at work sampling all the records, you know? Man, okay, yeah, this is, um, first record as you can see there's all the names of the songs on here um wow this is also like a kind of it's like a paper cover so it's like it feels a lot better and um i don't know um i would prefer it if it had you know like the plastic inning lining on the inside but this is fine i, I like this this is sick dude this is sick this album reflects a lifetime of vinyl culture i agree this is yeah, awesome, all the sampling and stuff. Now let's get the second record out here because it's like an hour long project. So there's gotta be at least two. All right, this is side two. Yeah, look at that, wow, it's just like, it's like the sky. 
black and white. It's like a rule setting. It's really, really nice, actually. Again, paper cover. And you have the track list on side two, right here. Very nice. Ooh. Is there anything else in the box, though? Let's see. Or in the. Yeah. And it's, I don't see like a digital download code or. Um, a poster or anything, but yeah, this is this is definitely sufficient. This is so nice. Uh, only got it for twenty bucks too in twenty twenty one, bro. Twenty bucks for a classic Riker. That's that's kind of insane. Okay. Now I haven't peeped inside, but I assume they're just black, and I don't mind at all. I mean, color bottom look nice, but Ooh. yeah. Oh, just black. There it is. Wow, this is record. Okay, this is side A. Yeah, you can probably see the reflection of the, the camera there and side B, fantastic, really, really nice. Just, you know, just like a regular record, honestly. Um, <laughs> I thought there'd be a little more here, but like, you know what? It's like the, the style, you know, it's pretty simplistic. I mean, like the, the album cover is literally just like a picture taken at a record store, right? Like. It makes sense and it's it's iconic but um and these prints are all like black and white as well so and here is the second record oh my gosh okay that's side c same old same old you know and this is side d i know sorry it was it was kind of slanted or tilted uh you can't really see the words there you go yeah that's nice that's really nice it's a little dusty, but I think it's just cause like my, my light is really bright and too good. Um, and I can just notice all like the little like fingerprints and stuff on it. But like, yeah, really, really like this shit. All right, let's see what it sounds like on the record player. Oh, oh you didn't see that. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, you see me fucking reflected on that? Yeah, look at that. All right, good shit. Let's put this on. Ooh, the hole's like a little, a little tight. We're good, we're good. Taking that off might be a little bit of a problem, but it should be okay. Bob, Bob Wood, National Program Director of Chomsky, worked with us in producing... <laughs> Also here, sorry, you guys might be a little disappointed. I can't really play uh, the song. I'm just trying to avoid copyright claims and whatever. So it's going to be kind of chopped up. I'm going to skip around a little bit. And I'm also going to um, speed it up a little bit. And it's also going to be muffled and echoey. So um, listen along. You know, you can pretend, I guess, by putting on the real song on like a streaming platform or something and then just watching the record spin. Uh, that's the best I got for you guys. Sorry, I really don't want it have this video be taken down or anything. So yeah, great. Producing. And you know, I did pretty well, except there were a few mistakes, but the, that I made with that. I have just recently cleared up. It's, um, it's instrumental hip-hop, which, like, I normally don't listen to that much. I listen to a little bit of Jay Dilla's Donuts, but, like, besides that, you know, like, I just, I prefer lyrics, you know, and, like, and the rhyming, but this is just, it's a classic. It's pretty legendary, um, and this is something, like, it's great. I can actually just pop a vinyl on, um, and, like, kind of do work to it, you know, like, with it, like, passively in the background, because it's, it's mostly instrumentals, you know, I can enjoy them, you know, for what they are. Um, and experience the moment like with headphones, you know, and like if I pay attention to it But I think like, you know an instrumental album right now. It's it's perfect for studying. It's perfect for reading um, 
yeah, go fucking check this shit out. It's it's really nice. It's really nice. Like DJ Shadow, such a good job. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's fantastic. This is this is really nice. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>